everyone. We are here in the high desert of Nevada and we're stopped off on the road to create this video for you, explaining, giving you a little visual reference of the sun, the moon and the earth and how they work together. I've got three objects. Our compass as a reference to center is going to represent earth. This gorgeous crystal is going to represent the moon. And we got an orange for the sun. All right. So we're in the Northern Hemisphere. The sun, as we know, rises in the east. This is the east. Makes an arch via the southern sky to set in the west. Yeah? And so in our representation, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, and I'll do a quick Southern Hemisphere version too, anything below that line is going to be invisible to you. The sun rises, moves through the sky, that's noon, sets, moves to the midnight position over there, comes back, okay? So this is the part of the sky that's, visu that's visible to you. So let's imagine it's new moon. The sun, the moon, and the earth are in a straight line together with the moon in between the earth and the sun. So it's sunrise, the moon and the sun stay in the same relative position, but as, they, as the sun moves around, so does the moon. And so at noon, there'd be the moon and the sun, but of course we can't see the moon at all because the, su the sun is shining on the side that faces away from Earth. At sunset, the moon and the sun are setting together. They're just hanging out together the whole time on the, on the dark moon. Now let's imagine that it's new moon. Well, because of an alignment between the, uh, the timing difference between the Earth's cycle around the sun and the moon's around the Earth, there appears to be a little lag. And so a couple of days after the dark moon, when we go out at, uh, at sunrise, well, we still won't see her, but she's actually moved apparently backwards through the sky. So now these guys are still hanging out together Dun, 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 dun. There's noon. Dun, 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 dun. There's sunset. And what happens now is the sun sets and the moon's visible now because it's getting to night. But we just see this little crescent here lit by the moon. So we get the new moon in the northern hemisphere lit on this side and setting just after sunset in the western sky. Now let's imagine it's a week later. It's the first quarter. The moon apparently, although she hasn't literally moved backwards through the sky, it appears that she has because of that lag. She still moves of course in the same direction as the sun, but she just is a little further back in her starting point. First quarter, a square, a 90 degree angle between the sun, the earth and the moon. So half of the moon is getting lit by sunlight, just like half the earth is. Okay, so here's sunrise, here's noon, and the first quarter moon is just coming up over the eastern horizon. But it's unlikely we would see her because the sun's so bright. Okay, there's noon. But as it gets towards sunset and the sky starts to darken, they're always at 90 degrees away, at sunset the moon is high in the sky, lit on one side. So that's the first quarter moon, and then she's going to set when the sun is 90 degrees away in his midnight position. Then we come back to sunrise. Now let's say it's the full moon, okay? On the full moon, there's another exact beautiful angle between sun, earth, and moon. But this time, the moon is on the far side of earth so earth is in between sun and moon and this time the side of the moon that faces the earth is getting the full blast of sunlight and so is full and so there's this beautiful straight line again their relative positions stay the same so there's sunrise there's noon and the full moon is hidden down in the part of the sky you can't see below the horizon here is sunset and here's the moon in, on the eastern horizon rising at the time the sun is setting. Here's midnight, the moon's high in the sky. Here's sunrise, the full moon is setting. You get that? So now we're going to the third quarter. 
and the moon again has moved further backwards in that cycle. Third quarter moon, sunrise, the moon is high in the sky in the noon position. Noon, the moon is setting. We're not going to see her, it's too bright. Midnight, oh sorry, sunset, the moon is invisible because she's in this part of the sky we can't see. Midnight, the moon is rising. So this is an important bit to remember. On the third quarter moon, the moon rises when the sun is in his midnight position. It mightn't be midnight, it might be 1 a.m., 2 a.m., depending on the part of the world you're in. But when he's in the deepest part of the sky, that's when the third quarter moon rises, so late at night. Here's sunrise, and the third quarter moon is in the noon position. So on the, this waning last quarter is often when we get to see most clearly a kind of thin, half-lit daytime moon. Now, let's imagine it's just a few days before the, uh, the, the dark moon. Now the moon is very close to the sun again, but lit on her opposite side. So this is sunrise. But imagine, oh well I'll go keep going, sunrise you can't see her really because the sun's a bit, the sun's come up and it's too bright. They hang out together, there's noon, definitely can't see her, the sun's too bright. That old way, old moon sets and then the sun sets, here's Mindai, still can't see either. But look what happens just before sunrise, it's the sunrise position. The moon rises first and we get to see the last, the, the dark moon, the old crescent moon uh, lit on this side because remember this is northern hemisphere we're in now and she's there just before in the secret hours before sunrise then the sun comes up and the sun's light absorbs hides the light of the moon and the cycle begins again and then another day or two later we're back where we started and uh, that's pretty much the cycle so in the southern hemisphere um, Tim, I'm wondering if you can make a full circle and come around this way. And I'll move position two and we'll pretend we're in the southern hemisphere, okay? So here we go. This is the southern hemisphere down here. Australia, etc. And I'm up here in the north. This time the sun still rises in the east and sets in the west, but this time through the northern part of the sky so you can see that that looks like he's moving anti-clockwise exactly the same setup I don't need to do the whole thing but the sun moves the moon moves a bit away from the sun this is sunrise do, 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 do. this is on the very first moon sun sets and the moon sets just a bit behind him so we get the new moon crescent in the southern hemisphere is this shape okay and exactly the same alignments happen on the full moon all the same rules apply rising at sunset midnight position setting at sunrise so I hope that gives you a bit of clarity of the difference between the hemispheres but mostly most important the alignment the dance of Sun moon and earth all hanging out together Blessed be.